Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. Today we're gonna be doing a video on what I put in my hair to make it look like this. So real quick, if you haven't watched the video before this, I strongly advise that you do because in that video I explained the history of my hair and how we got here versus what it looked like before and how damaged it was and how dumb I've been. If you want to see me talk about that, you should go there first, come back here, and then everything will come full circle and it'll all make sense. I told myself that I would not be doing hair care videos on this channel, but we are on to our second one now. And that is because everybody keeps asking me what I put in my hair, how I make it look like this, why is my hair so curly? And I just figured instead of talking to each and every individual person constantly about why my hair is like this, I just figured I would make YouTube videos and inform you guys and them. So I'm just gonna hop right into it. I'm gonna try to go in order of how I use them, I guess. I would of course be using conditioner and shampoo first. So uh, let's get to it. First things first, I have the Carol's Daughter Goddess Strength Shampoo. This is a strength and length system. One use equals 15 times stronger hair. It's got no sulfates, no parabens, no artificial colors, and it is made with castor oil, ginger, and black cumin seed. It says it's for weak, damage-prone hair. That's, that's my hair. I would just like to say that um, I don't normally use Carol's Daughter, and I'm not a huge fan of their products, but I actually really like this line. I didn't think I was gonna like it at first. It's doing what it does. It's doing what it's supposed to do. My hair before this was actually really, really damaged and um, I had a bunch of straight pieces. So right here you can see, I still have some straight pieces uh, that are remnants from what my hair looked like before. Now that I've gotten it cut and uh, properly taken care of, I've been using this stuff and it just does the job. I've been using it longer than the cut. So I got my hair cut last week, I've been using this stuff for about a month, and I love it. It's fairly new or new to me, uh, I've never seen it before until I went to Target and spotted it and was like, I should definitely get this. My big thing was I needed something with castor oil, and that's what this has. Prior to this, I was using the Manuka Honey uh, line from Shea Moisture. It's a great line, it just wasn't fortifying enough for my hair. It's super moisturizing, I did love it. It just wasn't doing what I needed it to do. The last time my hair was damaged, I used the castor oil line from Shea Moisture as well. It's an amazing line. I have barely anything bad to say about it. It was just too heavy and I didn't like the smell. Moving on, I have the conditioner of the same exact line. This one here says no parabens, no petroleum, no mineral oil, and no artificial colors. So the only difference here is the petroleum oil and the mineral oils. There's none of that in here because usually those things are put into conditioners and stuff to keep your hair or to give your hair that glossy look. All it does is just clog up your pores and weigh your hair down, which is no bueno. This also has the castor oil, ginger, cumin seed. So this has none of that bad stuff in it and I love that. I never really paid attention to parabens and all that stuff because I just put whatever in my hair, but um, I know that it is bad, especially for curly hair, because curly hair is very, very damage prone. This stuff works really well. I am loving this line so far. Normally I have a mitch match of things going on, or a mix match. Is it mitch match or mix match? I think it's mix match. Don't quote me. Anyway, I usually have a bunch of products of different uh, from different brands, and this time around I said let's stick to the same thing for most of my products. You will see here that I have other stuff. It's not gonna be just this line, so don't worry. But um, I thought for conditioner, shampoo, I would keep it the same, which takes me right into this. Real quick though, I am gonna talk about the smell of all three products, just because it's something very distinct to me. They don't smell bad, I think they smell really good. It's just for some reason, like everything just has this, um, this like doll smell to it. If you've ever had a Barbie doll or a, a Bratz doll, you know they kind of have that sweet but artificial scent to them. Um, they just smell like a like a sweet powdered baby or something. <laughs> I don't know how to explain this. These products have an underlying smell that really reminds me of what my dolls used to smell like before I destroyed them. Um, like when you fresh open them up out of the package, they're kind of like sweet smelling. I don't know. I don't know. Just it could just be me. My nose could just be broken. Don't listen to me. Anyway, this is the Carol's Daughter Goddess Strength. Again, same line. Strength and length system, 94% less breakage. This is the Divine Strength Leave-In Cream. Before I was using the Camille Rose Leave-In Conditioner, 
which is absolutely amazing. I don't like comparing things to Camilla Rose because I feel like everything I use from her line is amazing. There's nothing else I can say about that. So to go from that to this, at first I was super, super skeptical. I am really happy I made this choice because this was significantly cheaper and the Camille Rose one, although it does an amazing job, like I said, it was expensive. This one, I wanna say cost me like nine bucks maybe, if that could have been less. And this stuff does just about the same. It does not weigh my hair down. I have no issues with it caking up over my hair. Obviously, if you use too much of anything, it's gonna do that, it's gonna build up. But this, I don't feel that way. That's a plus for me. I only use about two, maybe three pumps of this, possibly less somewhere in between there, two and three pumps. I feel like it does the job. The next thing that I put in my hair after I wash my hair is gonna be the Camille Rose Rejuva Drops Grow Back. This has castor oil, peppermint oil, and saw pimento. Palmento? Palmetto. <laughs> Palmetto, whoa. It's for hair loss and alopecia. This stuff is awesome. I use this on my roots after I wash my hair and I try to use it when I go to sleep and when I wake up. I don't always do that, so. I'm probably not seeing the best results from it. I don't use it very often, but I do try my best to use this, especially after I wash my hair. I did do it this time around. It's for like growing back those pieces that just keep breaking off. I have somewhere in between here, right in here, my hair is actually breaking off pretty bad in this area just because of the trauma that I put my hair through prior to this cut. So um, you'll see me talk about it in the last video, but uh, I really damaged my hair pretty badly. And I use the Rejuva Drops to kind of bring my hair back at the roots because I, my hair was just breaking off severely. So hopefully this is keeping my hair strong and doing what it's supposed to do. I feel like I see a little bit more growth, but it could just be me really wishing and hoping that this is doing the right thing. If I'm going to talk about the smell of things, this has a more, um, it doesn't smell like an oil or anything. It just has this um, subtle smell nothing super strong it is more watery it's not really like an oil I feel like when I put it in my hair it feels like water it's cold to the touch it's not the way oils are this is a super super lightweight thing but it's just got a really light nutty smell to it maybe nutty is that what I'm thinking why would there be a nutty smell if there's no nuts in this no that's not the smell anyway it's a very distinct smell I cannot describe it but um it is light enough that it won't bother you throughout the day Next up in my hair care routine, before you come for me, cause I know you can see the bottle. Yes, it is Garnier Fructis and no, I don't use this very often. But as you can see with all this that I've used, this has been over a year, but I do use it if I have absolutely nothing else in my closet to put in as an oil. This is all I've got right now. And this is what I've been using to keep my hair kind of moisturized. But I do use a little bit over the top of my hair just to keep it looking shiny. It is definitely nourishing. I will say that. It's very hard to mess up an oil, just like it's very hard to mess up a conditioner, I feel like, which is why I don't really have much to say about the conditioner in this line, in the uh, Out of Strength line. But um, it's hard to kind of mess up an oil unless you're putting loads of like mineral oils and stuff in it, I guess. But uh, this is avocado, olive, and almond oil. It says uh, three times, three times the moisture proven strength system. It's an old product. I'm sure most of you guys have used it and then realized you didn't want to use it anymore. Like nuts. <laughs> it smells like oily. I'm not gonna say that. I'm not gonna finish that sentence. Last but definitely not least, this was the game changer for me. This is what I've been using for months now. This is my absolute favorite thing to put in my hair no matter what. It is the Camille Rose Curl Maker with Marshmallow and Agave Leaf Extract. This stuff, guys, is amazing. I heard that Miel has the same thing, basically. Pretty similar, um, same consistency, all that. Supposedly does the same thing for cheaper but I trust Camille Rose with my life. So I went with Camille Rose and this stuff does not disappoint. I use one and a half pumps of this and I have been using one and a half pumps of this even when my hair was longer. I just feel like it does something to your hair that really keeps it looking super boundful. Is that a word? It's bouncy, it's, it's curly. I feel like it does what it's supposed to do. Um, it makes curls where there are not. These right here that are like acting straight, this is still more curly than they've been. And if I don't put this in, this side of my hair will not curl. It says here, make your day with Curl Maker, a sweet defining jelly enriched with smoothing marshmallow root and golden agave nectar, crafted to nourish and define curls. 
it says here to apply a generous amount, but I don't. This thing cost me, I want to say almost $20 or possibly more at Target. Do I feel like it's overpriced? No, because I feel like it does exactly what it's supposed to do. All right, guys, that's the end of this video. That's everything that I use in my hair to make it look like this. Talk to you guys later.